Um, I just wanted to start with, first of all, the German government, obviously informing Leipzig that there will be no exception for Liverpool to travel over for the first leg of the Champions League game. What do you see now as the ideal solution to make sure your away leg is played? That's not my job, to be honest. Um, uh, our people are working together with UEFA, with Leipzig, I guess, and um, we find out we will play the game. So it's not our decision. Um, well, nobody from Germany called me and asked me how is the situation in England. It's a general decision, obviously, about, about um, traveling from England. I think um, with all the stuff we are doing here, um, um, the, 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 the record we have with cases, the discipline we show with all the stuff we do, um, I think it would be absolutely reasonable to make an exemption. But I don't know exactly who decides it in the German government. But they said so far not possible. But maybe it's good to see um, for the um, for German people who are not exactly in the in the in the subject. Um, we are not infected. We are we have the same problems like you have. We know there's another strain, but we are really in a bubble and we could play at Leipzig as well without without um, spreading the virus, just to say that at least once, um, because it's, but it's how it always was in, our, in that time. The rules are the rules and we will accept them. So I don't know what we can, where we play. Obviously big game this weekend, just on the availability of players. Has Kabak's international clearance come through? Is he ready to go straight in? How's Alisson and okay. Fabinho and Mane any chance of playing? International clearance, yes, is the answer. International clearance, yes. And obviously in the last few minutes, because 10 minutes ago, um, I know what he told me that. Um, great. Um, and then all, the th all three boys. So Ali feels much better. Good enough to have an individual session today. Um, and Sadio and Fab will be uh, in, in parts of training today, team training. Um, and then we will see. And would you say Kabak was ready to go straight in in, in such a big game? I don't know. I don't know. It's um, a our situation. We will see who can play again, who cannot, who should not play again, or should play again. All these kind of things, and then we, we will see. So, the, in the idle world, you have a few weeks and work together on defensive things, especially on organization, all these kind of things. The boys now, Ben and um, and Ozan had um, yesterday an analyze meeting uh, where they and they trained, but they had an analyze meeting that they, where they got shown all the the stuff we do usually is like an uh, send a half movie. Um, and so today, proper session, tomorrow, proper session, and we will see. It's, um, I don't know yet. I'm sure you were expecting me to ask about the title race, but obviously after Wednesday night, Andy Robertson said, as this moment stands, we're not in the title race. We're seven points behind them and they have a game in hand. But how would a win change that perspective this weekend? <laughs> So after two years now, getting this question all the time, um, and we were close enough that it might 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 have made some sense. I just I just don't see it in a moment. Look, you can you have to win football games. If you do that often enough, then you have a, then you then there's a specific moment in the season when it's clear. Okay, now we go for it. We were in the last two years in that situation. In a moment, we are not. So why should we think about it? What we have to think about collecting our points that it might happen in April, May, May again. But I don't know yet. So why should we only think about it? We only think about it because we got asked. But it's not important. It's not what drives you, what gets up, up every morning or drives you, us through the day without being so close to City or whoever is top of the table that we don't like football and we, we think that it's not worth working or whatever. That's not the case. We really try hard in a very, very tricky season. And we will try. Continue trying 100% and Sunday the next time. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to go to Simon Crabtree, uh, PLP for a couple. Simon. Thanks, uh, Jackie. Hi, Jürgen. Are you okay? Um, just one, a quick one, first of all. Sorry, who's Jackie? About, uh, I thought you were Jackie Weaver. Sorry. No. <laughs> um, oh, God. Sorry. Don't ask. Go on. Don't. Okay. I, I, that's why I left it. <laughs> anyway, Jürgen, um, as far as fatigue is concerned, uh, you mentioned the mental fatigue bit after the end of it as well. And I know Pep has spoken a little bit or touched upon the physical fatigue of things as well. And his team are apparently running less a lot this season than they were. And that's obviously paying dividends. So 
in terms of all that process, what what do you need to do or, or what can you do? Playing football, recover, train, recover, all that stuff. Um, using each single minute, each day you can get to recover. That's how it is. And uh, the more you keep the ball, but the, the lesser you have to run, probably. Um, that's the that's the truth. Um, and yeah, we have, we have that difference. That's just we didn't have a break. Huh? I think City had a two week break for for COVID reasons. Um, and that all it's, it's it's really tough. It's a tough year. It's a tough season. I know for some for some teams it looks like lesser, um, but. Um, for us, obviously, for the um, for the reasons you know, it's tough, and that's why I said when I spoke. It's actually the first time that I, that I felt that way. But as on, on after a week with twice traveling to London, playing two intense games, two really good games, um, I don't think we run too much in these games. I, I don't think we um, we run exactly as much as we had to to win the game, and then. Um, we came back and faced it, a Brighton team who has a, had a good idea, and we were not ready in that moment. Obviously, the boys wanted, but couldn't. And if they couldn't, if it, that's then you see that then there are two there are two possible reasons they don't want. I can say that's not the case, or they can't. So if that's the case, you have to think why they couldn't. And that's a and that's the that was the thing what I was um, talking about after the game, um, and that's all. And now we have another four days and. Things are different and, and stuff like this. So we had twice the short the short um, end of the week, like two days in between the games. So that's that's really short with the travel. That's not like not no excuse. It's just an explanation. And for that game, it was we were not fresh enough. That's it. Um, there's some odd anomalies this season with uh, away wins. I don't know whether you're it's, it's over forty percent this season of of being away wins, um, which would be a the highest ever in the Premier League if it was to continue than that. And th there's only been, I think, one in the last 24 meetings between you and Manchester City that's actually been an away win as well. So um, how do you get, given the fact that you've not won uh, at Anfield or you've lost the last two at Anfield, how do you get the magic back to make sure that that, that run, you know, the away wins don't suddenly change here? By playing ex ex really good football, it's not. It's not that I can say now. And boys, come on, don't forget. It's uh, I, everybody knows. It's Anfield. We love playing there. It, it, still, still, we love playing there. It's a great place. The best place we can imagine. So it's all good. Um, but we didn't win the two la the last two games. I know that. But we were not interested in, in winning sixty-eight in a row. So why we should now uh, make the two the games we didn't win bigger than it is? Um, I don't think. And I could sit here and we'll be lost sixty-eight in a row or something like that that would be a real sensation um, so it's all about it's all about trying again it's all about being um, yeah being positive enjoying football all these kind of things it's um, and make it make it a fortress again that that's how it is um, but it will not happen in a press conference with the with I would what I would say here I'm not half not not uh, not 10 percent in the mood um, to speak about anything, I would talk to my players because when I'm with them, I'm with 100%. They're here; it's still like paid holiday. So I'm then they cannot win the game here. I cannot lose the game here. The only thing I have to do is answer questions, and that's what I do. But not about what I'm telling my players. Thank you, Simon. Appreciate it. We go to Carl Markham, and then after that, we've got Kieran, who I think is from AFP, and then Ellie from Perform. But uh, Carl next. Hi. Um, Hi. You You've spoken of, of um, physical fatigue and, and, and how you just have to rest and recover and, and, and train again. But with the mental side of it, how, how, do, you, how do you tackle that? I mean, do you, do you have... Don't make it, Carl, don't make it bigger than it is. I'm, I meant, actually, the fatigue. It's just... <laughs> Well, I, I'm really, that's a real problem now, but because English and stuff like this, it's nothing to do with mental health, hopefully. So when I spoke about, we were not fresh enough, and fresh has two aspects, it's here and there. So legs and mind as well. So that's what I wanted to say. Not No issues, no real issues or whatever. It just was intense, it looked heavy in moments. The passing was not as as hard as as clinical as it should have been, and, and these kind of things. So why should that happen? There are the reason for it because we are not ready, not fresh enough. That's much more. It's not a meant. So how I said, I was not happy with using the word, but I, I just wanted to un, wanted to make sure that's not only the legs. There are other things as well because 
again, go through the go through that week. It's not, and we have to prove that it, that it, um, that we can get freshness back and all these kind of things. There will be, we will, but um, for that moment, we didn't have enough time, obviously, because everybody could see it and see it then on the pitch. In that case, does does a game against City, you know, must help, you know, kickstart that again? You know, to the, your biggest rivals. That's the plan. And, you know, That's the plan. Good plan, huh? Yeah, good plan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you, you expanding on that, Carla? Is that you? Are you. Um... I think that's me. Yeah. Thank thanks. you. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we go to uh, Kieran Canning from FP. Kieran. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Uh, I just wonder, Ruben Diaz has made a, a massive impact uh, at City this season in terms of their their record defensively. Um, I just wonder, do you see any parallels with the difference that he's made with how how Virgil helped you? Uh, <laughs> wow, that's really harsh one, huh? So you talk about a centre half, yeah, that's not nice. Um, yes, he had obviously impact. He was a good player. Come on, City is a good team. Um, to be honest, it's a really good team. They were always, um, but um, they, um, yeah, good business, absolutely. Do I compare it with Virgil? Um, you, you can compare it with Virgil. I, I don't know Ruben good enough. So Virgil is um, is a, an outstanding football player. And I know him as a person, so and the package makes for me the difference. I don't know anything about Ruben Diaz. I'm sure he's a nice fella, uh, but I don't know it. Okay, thank you, Kieran. And then to finish with Ellie, um, and then if the guys for the breakout can start putting the hands up, that'd be great. But Ellie, to finish our press conference, our open section of the press conference. Thank you. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Uh, Ilkay Gundogan is in incredible form for City at the moment, and he's obviously a player you know really well from your time at Dortmund. What qualities do you think make him a special player? And are you slightly surprised at his current form and all the goals he's scoring at the moment? Not at all. Goal scoring maybe a little bit. Um, the rest not. Um, Ilka was one of the best players I ever coached. When he was a very young player um, when he came to us from Nuremberg to Dortmund. Um, and especially in the 2012 season, he was unbelievable and played pretty much like he's playing now. Um, then he had unfortunately some some injuries, um, um, hard, really tough injuries, uh, but that's not all sorted, and um, that's the longest period he can play football without getting interrupted. And I wish him really well that can continue like this. That's the only reason he was always that player. And um, and when he when when experience then and when when you are smart and experience comes then into place as well, then it's another jump, obviously. In, on your performance level, and I'm not surprised at all. 